Welcome back. In our first video, we talked about what a thriving organization is, and today we are going to talk about how to create one. Simon is again with us. Welcome back, Thank you. Simon. So I guess I will just ask the obvious question. How do we create a thriving or a why-based organization? Mm, great question. Well, of course, creating or indeed maintaining one of those organizations is an act of leadership, right? Mm, so it mm. starts with leadership. So I think we need to just talk a little bit about what we mean by, by leadership. leadership. That's a good because idea. As you know, there's been a lot of stuff and continues to be a lot of stuff written about so what much. leadership is. So yeah, much. So, so let's just be clear by what we mean by leadership. Mm -hmm. So, so there's five attributes that we say um, that determine a why based leader. So the first thing is to understand is it's not a title level or role, right? Mm. So le that, that's good news because leadership is now available to everyone. Everyone yeah. can be leaders of their own lives, leaders of people around them. So that's the first and most important point. I love that. Mm -hmm. Second point is, is about creating a vision of what you see in the world, a vision that okay. inspires other people, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And where does that vision come from? It comes from your why, your cause, purpose, or belief. So that's the third point is it's sourced from your why, and, and you paint a picture of what that world looks like for others. And they choose, this is the fourth point, they choose to follow you mm. because they believe the same things as you do. Mm, they share values. Mm -hmm. Yes, and your vision of success and your why, your purpose, your cause and your belief. And um, we, are, we often say in workshops that, um, uh, you know, there's only one thing you need to be a leader and that's a follower. Okay, interesting. <laughs> so, so it's not about the leader, and that's the fifth principle. It's not about the leader. It's sourced from their why, their mm -hmm. their cause and belief, but it's um, but it's uh, about serving others. So those are the five um, principles about leadership. Now, this is very very different from management. Mm. Management mm -hmm. is about complexity. It's about managing content. It's Clear. about uh, dealing with all that Giving complexity, yep. mm -hmm. exactly mm -hmm. right. And boy, do we need management. Uh -huh. But leadership is very, very different. Couldn't be more different. It is about creating simplicity, mm -hmm. simplicity of that vision, mm -hmm. simplicity of of the messages, simplicity of uh, the why, and mm -hmm. so people can follow. So that's I'll how stop what maybe for a minute. That's great. So in management, we can obviously teach people certain practices. We task them with tools. Uh, we help them understand organizational psychology, etc. Is leadership similar or different? Can can this be learned? Can, can someone learn to be a leader or at least a why based leader? Yes, they can, okay. and that's what we believe. And but that learning comes in a different level. We've all been on those management training courses, haven't uh -huh. we? Which provide you with a whole load of content, provide you with loads of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And there's a half-life to all of that, isn't there? You go out the room inspired by that, perhaps, yep. for a moment, but then you try and apply it and it all fades away often, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So to create this sort of leadership is a deeper level of experience for that individual. So it starts mm -hmm. with the individual so that it shifts mm -hmm. the context for them in the way that they know and understand the world around them and how they relate to people and if you start there mm -hmm. you can learn this uh, this leadership for yourself it's less about being taught but learn it for yourself interesting it's almost a personal journey a spiritual it journey most, almost it sounds it, like it yeah. almost it, it is and mm -hmm. it starts from that place and um, we have a simple saying which forms the curriculum the framework that we sure. develop leaders which is if you want to lead change uh -huh. which is creating thriving organizations and making them current and everything else you need to really learn how to lead others. Mm -hmm. And to lead others, you really need to understand how to lead yourself. So it works backwards. So it, it works makes backwards. great sense to me. Talking about a curriculum, there's a gazillion different management and leadership curriculums out there. If we think of this as a leadership curriculum, how would that be different than anything else that's being offered currently? Well, an, an, another great question. And, and so those five principles about leadership would be one of them. But I think it's mm -hmm. um, three important things uh, sourced from your why. Mm -hmm. So it's an authentic, authentic journey that mm -hmm. starts with the individual. I think it's about building on strengths as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, mm -hmm. it's a lot of leadership or development programs about spotting gaps and fixing them. But let's build on the strengths that, um, that are our natural talents that we've invested in for a reason. 
reason because sure. those are the things that feed us and feed our soul. And, and the final and third thing is, is really about making, you made that point earlier, that making that authentic and personal journey for mm -hmm. people and mm -hmm. starting it. Mm -hmm. So really understanding who I am, um, what motivates me, and so that I can be more authentic in my communications to others. Well, those are all great news. So it can be learned and there is a way to it. I guess there needs to be a desire because it touches self. Yes. Um, but all the better, I would say. So in our next video, then we will talk about how to lead self, mm. right? So that might be interesting for uh, some of the viewers and we hope that you come back and see that video. Thank you so much, Simon. Thank you.